Hey guys, um, so just finished watching Arrow Season 2, Episode 2, uh, Identity. Now, this one definitely was great. Um, it was really good. Uh, I mean, uh, I mean, I don't know much about uh, Silver Claw or whoever this guy is. Um, I mean, I, I kind of I know that he's he's from the comics and stuff like that, um, but I never knew anything who he was or anything about him before Arrow. Um, actually, never was big anything about. I didn't never actually read an Arrow comic since Arrow, but whatever. Um, so it's it's kind of interesting to see this guy. I mean, he just looks like a thug with who went to Comic Con and bought Wolverine uh, went uh, bought Wolverine brass knuckles there with the Wolverine claws, and they, but they have a little bit of different differences in them in them so it just looks like someone who has like Wolverine brass knuckles there with the long spikes at the end of them so uh, to me it's just like okay I mean he's doing a lot of swinging and hitting stuff that you know there's it doesn't like you, arrow can't knock them out of his hands like you know he's fighting using his, his bow against his those those this thing those claws and he can't knock them out of his hand like they're really maybe he has them strapped to his hand probably most likely which would make more sense um, yeah, uh, yeah, so I definitely can't wait to see, see what else comes out of him, um, I guess, well, if he comes back, I mean, I'm, you know, is the taser just gonna stop him, but, you know, is he supposed to be a big superhero, or, you know, I don't know, really know how big is he supposed to be, is, you know, um, but other than that, it was still definitely good, I like, I love the story, how it's going into, you know, all of her problems, it's centered around Oliver Queen, he has the most problems, instead of, being the hood is most is the most problem. Oliver has the most problems right now. This is a different a different story that we've never seen before. Um, a story like in uh, in Smallville, it was always the Blur problem. You know, in Smallville, it was uh, you know bl the Blur it was about Clark telling Lois when he was the Blur or stuff like that, and all all that stuff it was always the Blur. This time, it's different. It's not Arrow who's having the trouble. It's Arrow who Arrow the Hood is having the the easier life, the easier way, whereas Oliver is having the harder, the tougher time to dealing with. So this is definitely a flip on the on the, the idea of uh, who would have the easier life. Um, you know, it would be easier for him to just drop the whole Oliver identity and just continue on as as a hood and just be nothing but that. Um, uh, when traditionally it's usually easier to be the you know the regular person, just drop the hood and stuff like that. Um, so it's definitely interesting to see him juggle that, uh, both sides of the story. I'm kind of waiting to see what's going to happen. Uh, now the, the, um, the sport, the, the spoiler, um, what else is there? I definitely guess I give this episode definitely a great nine, nine out of ten. It was a good episode. Definitely recommend going to see it, uh, watching it. Um, what else is there? Um, hmm. oh, definitely the, the, the ending. The ending was great. Okay, you know, best cliffhanger ever. Like, just it's perfect cliffhanger. You're just leaving, cutting him off with, like, Laurel. She's getting to be such a a, a thorn in his side, um, you know, that he doesn't want to take out. You know, uh, so it's it's definitely interesting to see how this is is turning around. Um, it's different not to see much of Detective Lance in this episode, and more focused on her being his rival instead of uh, him. Uh, so it's definitely interesting to see. Um, that was a, the, the 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 cliffhanger at the end of this episode, which is perfect. You know, I re definitely recommend uh, going to, uh, watching. It is just the best cliffhanger ever. You know, keeps you on your edge of your seat and makes you need the next episode. Um, so it's definitely awesome to, to see that. Um, what else is there? Oh, one thing I didn't like from the in the flashbacks. Um, Slade, the guy with the two swords. He's all dressed up for winter, at least almost winter. He has like, you know, body armor, uh, you know, super, super, probably super warm clothes. They're just there in t-shirts and, you know, she barely has any clothes on. Yet he's dressed for like, you know, for like freezing fall. He's dressed for like mild winter, you know. So it's just like, doesn't make sense that he would be, she should be sweating and she should be freezing. Is it hot? Is it cold there? You know, make up your mind. Um, but other than that... And the episode definitely was a great episode. Definitely recommend watching it. Uh, yeah, nine out of ten. Till next week. Peace out.